The Half Moon Key Natural Monument was designated a protected site in 1982 and is a part of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System World Heritage Site. With its white sandy beaches and some of the bluest waters, this key is more than just a hot spot on a tourist stop. It's known for its biodiversity, from its resident ambassadors, the booby birds, to the regular army of hermit crabs. And it's here on this key where the only population of the island leaf toad gecko is found from the entire world. The forested parts of the island also serve as a valuable habitat for other species of birds and reptiles. The island is unique. Um, it is home to the white-faced red-footed booby birds, right? Um, it, is also, it, uh, it also serves as a um, nesting ground for three marine turtle uh, species, um, the loggerheads, the hawksbill, and the green turtles. Um, it is home to the island leaf toad gecko, right, an endemic species. 41 and a half acres of the Half Moon Key and just under 10 acres of surrounding waters are all protected. The Belize Audubon Society co-manages the key and here they lead research and other valuable conservation efforts, including the monitoring of endangered sea turtles. We carry out the conch and lobster density surveys. Um, we carry out coral health surveys. We conduct a seagrass. Uh, surveys. We also monitor the booby birds as well. We also monitor the turtle nesting activities that, that occurs on this island. And while there's a lot to see and do on the key, the surrounding waters make for an equally exciting and fulfilling experience. Just off the key, there's the Half Moon Key Wall, arguably one of the best dive and snorkel sites in all of Belize, which is described as 6,000 feet of vertical abyss. Below the pristine hues of blues, there's an entire marine world thriving. The diversity in marine life, from turtles to sharks to rays and fish, is complemented with some of the most colorful living coral and sponge formations. Every year, around 14,000 international visitors visit the Half Moon Key Natural Monument. Belizeans, not so many. And that is why manager Shane Young says that they want to see more locals experience the beauty of Belize here at the Half Moon Key Natural Monument. We have visitation from foreigners. Um, there's a lot of diving that has been done at Half Moon Key Wall. Um, I think it's one of the best dive sites in this country. I highly recommend that you try it if you're an avid diver. Um, in terms of Belizeans, I'm hoping that we could get more Belizean out here. Now, this is the farthest land point for this country. Now if you look to the east, you know, that's international waters out there, you know, and it's breathtaking, Andrea. It's, it's really breathtaking. I encourage Belize and say so I urge Belize and to take the opportunity to come and visit. Keep in mind that the great blue hole, the famous blue hole, also managed by the Belize Audubon Society, is only eight miles away. So you can do both in one day? Yes. And uh, yes you could do two in one day. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.